Hey, I'm Kenneth Wajda. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my weekly photo chats. I'm so glad to be here. So today, I'm going to talk about a very inexpensive camera. This is a Nikon N80. And I have a 20 millimeter lens on it, 2.8. It's a fixed manual or a fixed prime lens and autofocus lens. This camera, I don't need another autofocus camera, but this is the kind of camera because it's fully automatic. I can hand it to Mary Lee. I can hand it to a friend if they want to make some photos when I'm out and about. It weighs nothing because it's a, one of the more lightweight amateur, probably considered an amateur camera back in the day. But it still has aperture priority, shutter priority program and manual. I just leave it on aperture priority. If I were handing it to Mary Lee, I'm putting it on program. And the fact that it's so small and so light, it was $30 in a box new at a store. And it was a store that sells used books and used electronics. And they had this in a box for $30. And I'm like, at $30, I can't say no. It's too useful to the people who I know they won't want to carry if I'm handing them an F100 or an F2, if I were giving them a manual camera, they wouldn't want to hold the weight, but this doesn't weigh anything. And it may not be the most desirable body of all the bodies, but $30 is pretty inexpensive for a film camera that is quite capable and pretty advanced, pretty good metering system in it. Nikon N80. Again, $30 body, and that's the kind of thing, those kind of deals are out there. If you're looking for a body, if especially if it's in new condition and it's one of those bodies that's just below what you were expecting, the F100 is my recommendation for a great autofocus film camera that feels like a digital camera in its operation. But if you don't want to spend the money on an F100, and N80 doesn't command very high prices. And it wasn't the kind of camera I was looking for, but the fact that they had it for $30 and I had a little bit of time to research, and it's actually considered a pretty decent camera for its ability to meter. It's got some features that are actually different than the F100. I'm like, you know what? For $30, that seems like a valid, viable way. If I'm out, again, with a friend who, Mary Lee, I gave her a Nikon FG. She's shooting with that because it's in program mode. It's all manual wind, and she likes that. It's all automatic. But she doesn't always bring it with her. And then she wishes she had. So I'll bring this with me, and I can just say, here, just shoot this. And she'll say, how do I shoot it? It's all automatic. It's just point and shoot. It's focus from the shutter release, and it's... Aperture priority or I could put on program for her. She's ready to go. And those are the kinds of things that you can find out there. Sometimes, again, I find these things when I'm not really looking for them. I just happen to be in the bookstore and I see that there's a bunch of electronics. What's over there? And it's like, look, there's an N80. And I don't think it's brand new. I think somebody had used it and they put it back in the box and then they sold it to this store. But I can't imagine what they sold it to the store for if the store is selling it for $30. So... That's a fascinating alternative to F, the F100 if you're looking for a budget, budget camera. And I sometimes am, sometimes I'm out just, you know, looking for things that are catching my eye. That's a real world experience. So having shot this, this is one of those cameras that I could say, I actually like the feel of it. I like the viewfinder. It's big. It's not like some of the smaller APS-C size sensor D70s, some of those, they really like this long tunnel and a really small frame image. And I didn't really like that so much. But this has a really large viewfinder, highly recommend it. So think about what are your opportunities for finding things that are out there and keep your eyes open. Those deals are out there. And if you're looking for one, something inexpensive, look up the N80. You might find one online for not much money and it's a pretty solid smaller camera that's not quite as you know beefy as the f100 not quite as highly recommended but it's still recommended 
All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you could support, hit the Patreon. Thanks to everybody who watches my shows. And I'll be back next week and we'll talk photography. As always, here's to good light.